Good morning, everybody. This is Nicole with HelpMamaRemote.com, and I just wanted to share um, two lo separate locations. Um, what we use to as um, you know, like a soil, and the difference in the you know of the soil we use. So here are the cucumber plants over in this area, and my husband, all he uses in the raised beds is. Um, mushroom compost, vermiculite, and peat moss. That's in all of these beds here. So you see how green and vibrant the cucumbers are. Um, I think I've harvested a few cucumbers so far and they're still coming. This is all the cucumber plant. I'm also going to show you the back end of this. Now this is the back of it. I need to Tie some more of these vines up because they keep on growing and as you see they're growing um, back this way and we're just I've been just attaching them to the the railing the banister rail here so this is one area like I say everything looks really nice you see that um, cucumber there now I'm gonna show you another area okay this is the other section now this is my consider my daughter's garden. It's just one little box here. It's not four by four, maybe like three by three. And what I did, I just tossed a lot of stuff in it because we had it um, planted by we planted seeds, and I just needed to hurry up and get rid of them because they were growing. So we just put the stuff in this area. She also had a little um, cupcake greenhouse if you search it on helpmamaremote.com you'll see how we did that we made a little greenhouse for her to um, start off some seeds so all that is in here so it may be really packed in here right here um, this is uh, if you can see a spaghetti squash I have never grown spaghetti squash before but anyway, you can see the leaves are real yellow. They're not green and vibrant. Here's all the cucumbers. They're not vibrant at all, not green, they're yellow. Um, finally seen a couple cucumbers over here, but you see just enormous amount of flowers, enormous amount of flowers, Ye yellow, not, like I say, vibrant at all. So, and this was just regular potting soil, I believe. It was nothing fantastic over this area, but. Um, the other day he did add some peat moss vermiculite and some mushroom compost to see if that'll help um, you know brighten it up over here but I just wanted to show you like two different areas um, you know what it looks like what what you know the difference it makes with the soil you use and also I have what I did here is I put this little arch here using chicken wire and these stakes and they're tied with um, like um, some zip ties but really industrial in zip ties. The cheap white zip ties I have some um, mounted to hold up the cucumber vines. They're not really good so I have to use the industrial zip ties to hold this together so it'll last. And my goal is for it to climb over here. So um, we'll see what goes on. I see I need to tack some more up because they're growing. So I will do that today. And we did also plant, it's been a couple, three weeks now. We did plant two fruit trees. This is a pear tree and not even 15 feet. I think a little less than 15 feet away because you're supposed to plant them 15 feet away so they can pollinate each other another pear tree. So we have two pear trees. Partridge in a pear tree. <laughs> so we have two pear trees growing our first ever fruit tree. So we're excited about that. And then like I say, we're gonna create an island around them and grow more vegetables. Let me see my little daughter's concoction. I took down her, she had a fairy garden I need to redo. So those are the pieces from her fairy garden. But just wanted to share with you, like I say, the cucumbers you could tell a big difference in the color of them and what I'll do I'll hope try to do an update to let you know what happened how did we get what did we get what do we reap from these compared to the others so so far we have not reaped any cucumbers from this 
Um, we do have the one spaghetti squash growing. The other spaghetti squash that grow, they kind of like die out, dry up. Um, and we've always had a hard time with any kind of squash, zucchini. And this year I did not want to plant them, but this was one of my daughter's choices of seeds that she picked. So I went on and went and let her do it. So we'll see. If I get that one spaghetti squash, I will be very excited. <laughs> All right. Thank you. This is Nicole with HelpMamaRemote.com. Have a great day.